Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is time to build Lego friends Andrea's house and I'm trying to be calm about this. <sighs> Calming, breathing in, breathing out, but it's very, very hard because we've waited such a long time for this set to exist and it does, it finally does. All right, so the logistics of this set, there are 802 pieces and it was $120 here in Australia. So it is either less or more, logically, depending upon where you live in the world, just Google it and you'll get to find out how much it is in your particular currency. But that's enough of that stuff. I mean, that's important, but it's not as important as actually building this. So inside the box, we've got all the things we need. We have our instruction book here inside our plastic bag and we got oh, such beautiful stickers. Those look like Stephanie's shutters and there's the instruction book and we've got all the bags which hold on I thought we were gonna have paper bags this year so I was all ready to open this up and not have any bags that I could see through but anyway obviously not yet so this is Andrea's house so let's look at Andrea first which is convenient because she actually comes in the first bag she's got brand new shoes so the bottom is brand new and her tops brand new as well I really like the crown printed on her undershirt let's have a look at the back so the printing goes all the way around to the back the colors not really it kind of fades in and out it's a bit patchy so obviously Lego is still working on their back printing all on this new torso but I will take what I can get she looks really really cute you only really notice that when you're up at the macro level like I am when I'm when I'm busy videoing these so Andrea is gorgeous let's look at the rest of her family I've stolen them out of the other bags because they come in separate bags but I wanted to show them all to you at the beginning including are you ready for the first time in a Lego Friends set, we have a little kid. We have got Andrea's little sister, Liv, in this teeny tiny toddler body. And I think the feet are a bit smaller. Actually, yes, the feet are definitely smaller than the Disney Princess micro dolls that we saw last year, introduced last year. Her dress kind of looks like a nighty, which is not what she wears in the show at all. But oh my gosh, her hair's just perfect. Her face is really, really cute. And even though she looks like a toddler version of Liv to me, she's like just a little bit younger than she's supposed to be. She's very, very, very cute. And I just can't help myself. I have to, oh, Andrea's hair continues to fall off. I, I find it, I find it hilarious that they can't, they can hold hands, but only if they're holding like in weird positions like this. So I always have to try it, but we've stopped doing that now because we're going to see Andrea's mum, Donna. So Donna, Donna is the vet and she is brand new for this set. She has got, ooh, her printing isn't lining up. And there's, she got this weird gold bit around the back of her neck. That's weird. Does that mean, hold on, she got printing on the back and it's weird at the top. She must have one of the new, she does too. Look at that. So she's got a new torso. So she's got the, the adult female torso shape, but it's been put in a new torso. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that made any sense. I like her new face. It looks so like a little bit abbreviated at the side of her eyes. She doesn't have any extra eyelashes like Andrea does, but it goes really perfectly with her hair. Oh, and her little quacked lips. I love her new expression. I think I'm just in love with Andrea's mum. That might be a little bit worrying, but she's so gorgeous. Okay, moving on. We've got Martin. Andrea and Liv's dad. He's got the same pants we've seen before, but a new print on his torso. It's not a new torso style, so we've got no printing on the back, but his jacket is phenomenal. Look at that. He's got like a brown leather jackety kind of looking thing with a white, <laughs> white Bonds t-shirt underneath. He looks really, really cool. And his face is awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm just breaking inside. These are so good. This whole new family is so exciting. I love it. He's got his glasses. He's got his little quiffed up hair. He looks so fantastic. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm now also in love with Andrea's dad. <laughs> I love them all. They're all so beautiful. Okay. So here we have got Andrea's family all looking absolutely fabulous together. <laughs> this is very strange. We also have got Stephanie in this set for some strange reason. A random white blonde girl has been chucked into this family set. Uh, so, you know, she's like the friend that never goes home. <laughs> she's come over and yeah, she's hanging out with Andrea's family. So I find it kind of baffling as to why we have Stephanie in Andrea's house with all of Andrea's family. So she's going to wander off now because she's actually not necessary to this build. <laughs> Let's just make this a family thing. There's some times when you don't need extra people around. And this is one of those times when we are building your family home. Finally, after all these years, in fact, 
I mean, how many houses does Stephanie have? Why does she even need to be here? Right, rant over. Let's build whatever the heck this is. What is it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a heart. We've built a heart shape. How lovely. This is not their house. I don't think they live in this. This looks like it's either, it looks identical to the, uh, the heart storage containers that we got from the Lego Friends line just a couple of years ago, but now it's a pool. And Liz is trying that out in her pajamas because that's the only outfit she has. And we have this, ooh, look at that. So there's this frosted, oh, what do you call these things? You know, speckly, sparkly, ah, opalescent is the word I was looking for. So they're brand new pieces for the floaty in the pool. So that is just a very strange, extraneous build for the house. And now we get to get started on the house, which has got our heart-shaped pool, which is just kind of floating. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, anywhere you like, next to the house or around the house. There's just this extra bit that's been chucked in, but now we have the main event. We have got the house. We got three chairs on this side. We got two chairs on this side. And in the middle, I'm gonna guess that this is a table. And it's a beautiful big family table. It's very inviting because they've put another chair there for guests who are not welcome right now at the moment. This is, uh, this is, we're keeping this family, family only. So we'll put the family in these chairs and, oh gosh, this is actually, this is gonna be a problem because the micro dolls are incredibly top heavy because their feet are so small. So we're going to have to anchor Liz down as much as possible, which means we might put her on the floor, not the table, because that's totally inappropriate. So we've got teacups, we've got a cupcake, and what else do we get for those little purple plates on the table? Get some buildable sandwiches or subways or footlongs. Ooh, footlong subs. That's really cool. Look at those. In fact, they're almost as big as the mini dolls. <laughs> That's fantastic though. I love the buildable sandwiches. And these are the spare pieces we have at the end of bag number one. We got another cup. We got some more frosting. But now we got bag number two, which is even more exciting than spare pieces. So let's see what else we're going to be adding. Well, obviously we're going to be adding a lot because we've got a whole house to build. The color scheme is really, really interesting because we've got tan on the base plate oh, i like these flowers they're climbing up the lattice work and the sticker here for the shelves for the shelves for the pantry or for the kitchen so where we've got all the plates and some pretty plants oh it's lovely now as i was saying the color scheme is is interesting because it's andrea's color scheme so we've got that we got a kind of mint color we've got the teal color we've got pink and we've got purple there are a lot of colors in this build plus of course you know your normal colors like tan for the floor and brown for wood and green for the grassy area so like I said it's gonna be a lot of color it'll be interesting to see how it all looks <gasps> when we finish it up this is a picture of Peppa her bird who actually I think comes in this set I wonder which bag Peppa comes in this is exciting these are brand new windows with yeah okay with the normal window pieces to go in and I did not expect those those like straight <laughs> window pieces to fit in the curves but they do they're really hard to push in though they take quite a bit of finger effort I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get them out again if I ever want to use those glass pieces for something else they are very firmly stuck in there so we have got brand new curved window pieces which is incredibly exciting so we've made two sets of yeah windows here which makes a very cute little bay window a curved bay window at the front and we get to put it all that's not seating very well on the top that that pink piece. Oh, I'm pushing it down as hard as I can. It's just not going down. All right, on the top of here, we get to smooth it over and put some little jumper studs on because obviously we're going to be putting a second story on and it's going to be detachable. And back down on the floor, we've got some gray plates down here. And oh, are those blue pieces with the two little studs on them? They're, are they a new color? I think they're a new color. And we're tiling here with some, yeah, with some jumpery stud kind of things happening. It looks like I have no idea what that part is. <laughs> we'll find as we keep building. We're up to bag number three. Okay, going so well. Here we go. Here's Peppa. So Peppa is included in this set. So we have got one, two, three, four, five mini dolls. If we count Liz, I suppose, which we do as a micro doll, five mini dolls and one animal in this set. That's, I think that might be a new record. Okay, what are we building here? We've got a black cabinet, which is cool because they don't come in many. They don't come in many sets. And in this black cabinet, it's obviously oh wait, maybe it's. I was going to say it's obviously an oven, but it could be an, uh, a, a fridge with the cupcakes already, you know, made and being kept fresh inside the fridge. But it's. 
not a fridge because on top of it are some hot plates and a pan so I'm gonna guess that that's actually supposed to be the oven and we have the sink over here we're getting all the things that we need for the kitchen and it's on a hinge piece which connects here and it opens up so you can get in and out from so it'll look good from the front but you can actually play with it from the back that's clever. I like that design. So simple but clever. That's a brand new door frame. This is a brand new door frame, people. It's in pink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. A fuchsia pink door frame. I think that's what the world's been lacking so far. And now we've got one. Yay. I like the white steps up to the door too. They're so simple, but they look so pretty. A few little flowers just speckled around and lining either side of the door are teal columns and I'm pretty sure we've never seen this particular brick in teal all these ones on the top in teal as well new teal color pieces no new teal brick pieces and Andrea's family lives at 28 whatever street that they live on 28 Hard Lake City Street I wonder where that is in relation to where the other girls houses are I'm gonna have to put them all together and find out what do we have here which has been patchworked up with the Oh, okay, so this is some tiling for the kitchen. We've got a whisk on the top and a random spoon. Ah, purple tiles flashback. I love it. And, okay, on the back of this cabinet, there's a speaker and a, a quaver note. And inside the cabinet, we have an icy pole. Okay, all right. So, oh, there's a little space in there to put something. I wonder what we could put there. We've got another cabinet. And on the back of this, there's a tambourine and some musical stuff. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but the cabinet itself has got some milk in it with a pointy top. So I don't think that's what milk cartons look like on the top. It's lying down, which is really going to end badly if you lie your milk down in the kitchen. Okay, another sticker is a clock which is facing into the kitchen. And we've got a little tiny archway here to try and get through into whatever this other room is. That's pokey in there. We've fitted a lot of things into that teeny tiny living space. Oh, this is really, really exciting. Okay, we have an apron sticker and nothing next to it. And this goes here and the... Oh, okay, that's not a, that is not a walkway into that other room. It is a little recess to hang the apron in. That is so cute. There's a lot of color going on in there. Okay, heading up here, it's time to smooth over the top of all these bits that we've just done. And then we get to start bricking in the other random room with all of these, it's like memorabilia in it. There's a poster of Andrea with Friday written on it. There are things on the walls. This is like the pool room where all of your things go straight to the pool room. All of your, your cherished but useless things that you like to display. Oh, wow. I love this. Okay, we are at the end of this bag. and We got a few random extra bits, including another whisk and another spoon. We're up to bag number four. And now, now we find out more things that are going in the pool room, which is not a pool room because this is, <laughs> this is a front loading washing machine. And on the top, we've got some dishwashing detergent. It's totally the garage, isn't it? Or like a utility room. I really like it. So there's all sorts of things kind of crammed into this room in the middle. And on um, this is, is, is that like a signed record? I think that's Livy's signature, like Livy the pop star, Livy from too many years ago now in the Lego Friends season. That's such an awesome flashback. Whoa, okay. Some teal arches, which are also new. Another pink door coming out here into what I think is going to be the gardeny area. Or it could be, or could it be like incorporated into the house, this garden area? That would be so cool. I love little gardens inside houses. What do you call them? Are they atriums or is that something else? Or just a greenhouse? They do have a word and it's escaping me at the moment. I just love them though, even though if I had one, I would. The plants would all die. <laughs> I'm just not good at plants. I love them, but I'm not good at them. I am good at plastic plants though. So we've got a whole heap of these on the front. Now we get a mailbox with some mail in it. That's nice. And another number for 28 here on the front. That's really tight to, oh, that's not even centered. All right, we are picking that up again and putting that. There's a lot of, not a lot of space between the top and the bottom to get this on, but then I'm just have to try and line it up on the sides. That's pretty good. Messed up the side of the sticker, but it looks fine. It's fine. It's all fine. And on the side of our mailbox is a red bird beak. Oh, that's the thing. We don't do this here in Australia. We don't, people don't pick up mail from our mailbox or they don't. I understand what that's for to say that there's something either to be taken or that you have to collect your mail, but we don't, we don't have that. 
<laughs> That's cool. Okay, oh my gosh, this is how I made the smoothie like cocktail things in the Rainbow House build. <laughs> oh, Lego, you already knew how to do that. I knew you knew. Oh, this is exciting. So there's a little house with a gardeny area and a table with some really yummy looking drinks off to the side. And we've got some extra pieces there, but not very interesting. So we're up to bag number five. And this is the bag that Martin actually comes in and he gets an accessory. The only one of all of them who get gets an accessory, which is really unusual. He gets a microphone. He's in charge. So let's put him over here and let's continue on and see what's happening over in our garden. So we've got, no, hold on. We only needed one of those. Let's put that away for later. We only need one viney thing coming up on this wall. And then we get a keyboard, a very like the skinniest. That's taking up the smallest amount of real estate I've ever seen for a keyboard. So that is here in our, oh my gosh, it's a garage, isn't it? It's so they can have a, it's for a garage band, <laughs> quite literally in the garage. And this, this here, when I put this sticker on, this is Andrea's insignia, which I, it's not quite as straight as I'd like it. So I'm just gonna fix it up or it'll bug me forever. And it goes, <laughs> put it on upside down. That's okay, I can turn over the whole tile. And this is the drum kit. So we got the hi-hat symbol things here and we got a bass drum and that just goes here on those little jumper studs so we can take it off nice and easily. So Andrea can be in charge of that. And up here is where they store the drumsticks. That's so tidy. I love the tidy. I like, I like when there's a place for everything. Okay, Andrea's checking the washing machine and we are building some more wall things with creases in the inside. Creases? Grooves, grooves. That's the word I was looking for because we're making a garage door with a pink handly bit down on the bottom. I'm pretty sure that's new. <laughs> that's so awesome. They, they slide into these groove pieces. Also, I think those are new in that color too. I've certainly never seen them before. They go on the top so that the garage door can slide into the roof and down. Look at this, I could do this all day. Up, down. <laughs> that is so good. So there's the garage there. Obviously the garden is not inside the house. I was just dreaming when I thought that was happening. So the garage is here off to the side. This piece here has got a great big portrait on it of Oh my gosh, this is the old school Lego friends. This is back when Olivia had was white. <laughs> How do they explain that? So they've put in this, this is all nostalgia stuff, like memorabilia hanging up in the walls, in the walls, on the walls, in the garage. Wow, that is so cool. But so very strange to see them in their old style. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. Above the garage, we get a little bit of roofing and then we get this piece, which I put in the pieces and incorrectly, but that's okay. We'll add some more here where they're supposed to be and the grapes, they're grape vines. They're growing grapes over the, oh, over the little framework there. That's so beautiful. Where do these people live? Do they all live? I kind of imagine they live in California, somewhere quite sunny and warm because you know they're always growing tropical things and always it's it's very temperate weather we see in all the lego friends stuff except when they go on vacation to places that have more extremes so cold places and stuff all right we have a few spare pieces at the end of that bag and now i think we are completely done with the bottom level which looks so good it's packed full of details just love the garage so much all of the little easter eggs in there not literal easter eggs but you know what i mean now we're up to bag number six there are nine bags in this build all together we're still going to build the second level <laughs> you know that i'm going to do that in the next video because i can't just keep going because my excitement will be so much that i will explode and nobody wants to clean that up so I will see you with the next part of this build. So exciting, very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the build so far. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll be back really soon. You know I will. So check in, I'll be back. <laughs> see you soon, bye.